So, hello and welcome back to No Man's Sky, everybody. This is the... Up, oh, uh, pardon me, I just completely flustered at that point. My name is Alon Paul, and I want to welcome you all back to my playthrough in permadeath mode. Um, we left off last time in this location at this uh, little base that I created, that we called it the Pre-Alpha Base. Uh, outside of what I always like to do outside of a minor settlement because I think that's always the best way to go about doing things. Now, as with any reload, sometimes the weapon over here changes. So probably a good idea to check it out to see what we got in there. Just another C-Class, nothing special. Okay. Um, but anyway, so we are back in this location and it's been... Hold on, let me check the date. It has been over three weeks since I've recorded anything. Um, so I'm kind of picking up where I left off. I'm going to go into my log and figure out where we are. Because as you saw, I was just at this point still loading to come back into it to start recording. Um, expand the base. we got to get some salvage data, construction research. Okay, very good. So that is what we're needing to do. Okay, so let's check our equipment. There's our ship. Very nice. Very pretty. Exosuit. We do have some salvage data. I do want to get some more. Uh, looks like we ended up some antimatter housing, too. That'll come in handy later on. Uh, the multi-tool. We do have terrain manipulator, but as you know, I don't use it. Uh, mining beam, which is in the supercharged slot, so that's good. Okay. So, let's look around and see what we can find. Uh, let's see. There's some right up on that hill there. 309 away. Alright, I guess we're going to head that way. Looks like we have a settlement out that way. Oh, that's our shelter. That's another shelter we had found. That's right. Okay, that's fine. Let's head up there. It's a hot planet, so we don't want to stay out too long. Again, permadeath, so we want to be a little bit careful. As I've already learned, and you have may, may have seen in some of my... Uh, Gosh, I got over I got over a hundred videos at this point, folks, um, in my repertoire. So if you've gone through any of my videos, you'll find that I've got a video in there talking about how to, you know, jump space jumping basically. In in permadeath mode, you still can't kill yourself. So you know, you really have to screw up bad to die in permadeath mode. But it still makes everything way more difficult to do it this way. Alrighty. Here we are. So as you know, first person view, all you do is run up to it, and you can collect it. See? Isn't that nice? Uh, I got two out of that one. Usually, like I said, early game, I think I mentioned this in the last episode, because again, it's been a while. Um, huh, more buried technology right there. How interesting. And we have some damaged machinery. Oh, well that's cool. Let's go ahead and grab it. Yep, look at that. Son of a gun. Oh, unburied technology. My bad. That should get us two more. Okay, and as I said in my last episode, you only usually get two out of each one of these every single time you find one. Um, early game. But once you've got things starting to move along, suddenly you're able to find three and four. Up to maximum of four. As little as one. I don't get that unlucky too often, but... It happens. Let's grab the nanites while we're here. Uh, did we find everything on this planet? I do not recall. We found all seven. Okay, so we've already discovered everybody. Okay, good. We'll end up with 3,000 nanites. Excellent. Again, I'm playing catch up here. How is this doing? Okay, we got plenty of phosphorus to charge with. That's nice. Okay. And I think I want to gather up some more because I always like to you know, build up the base a little bit. So I'm going to take a quick look around and see if I can't find some more uh, salvage data in some more buried technology. And what I'll do is I'll pause you right now so you don't have to get bored to death with, with what I'm doing, and I'll see you guys in just a little bit. So for the sake of expedience, I went ahead and decided to skip this because apparently I picked through this area pretty good in regards to salvage data. So really should go back and watch my own video 
All right, let's go to our construction terminal. And the things that we're needing to do, according to here, is we need to spend them at the tide. Okay, so let's go ahead and spend a few. Okay, buildable technology. And it looks like we acquired pretty much everything that we need so far, but we haven't built all of them yet. Okay, so we've got that. Let me go ahead and charge this up because the furnace is empty. How's the battery doing? Yeah, battery's actually doing really well for the solar panels. Okay, so we can hold off on that. That's an emergency backup. Let's go into the computer and see what it has to say. Uh, let's see. Entry follows Saturday. Okay, unusual broadcast reading 16 from the space station. Guess where we're going? Okay, so that's our next step. We're going to go to the space station. If we ha don't have the anomaly yet. Let's head to the space station. There is one thing to be said for these little ships that you get, these little fighters, is that they are very easy to maneuver. So now it's officially taking us to the space station. We shouldn't get the startup music because we've already been here on our own. Which we probably shouldn't have done. But you, we, we're okay. There we go. Blah, 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 blah. I hate that. Only problem with that uh, third person view. Anyway, uh, we got to ask some life forms. Most of them are going to be over here. Wink. Looks like we got a Gex space station. Okay, good. Uh, they seem excited to see me, but we're going to ask them about 16 and really confuse the nonsense out of them. They release a strange smelling gas. That farted at me, basically. That's what he did. Uh, let's see. Expectantly, clearing, waiting. Came before? Ask about other travelers. A dramatic squeak. So that one farted, this one squeaks. Great. Alrighty. Let's ask the Viking. Uh, let's see. So it does not seem aggressive, but when I blink, I see the same red light that stared at me in the distress beacon. Repeat 16. We are watching you, traveler friend. Find what we have left you. Though the alien speaks, the words are not their own. A string of code is a code back to me through the red glare, allowed directly to my exo suit. As the light fades, I see the life form glaring at me. Whatever has happened, they do not appear to have witnessed it. I should leave. Perhaps my base computer would be able to make something of this code. <laughs> Alrighty. Lots of ships. Good idea to check the space station real quick. What are we? We're prosperous. We're actually a three-star system, so they should have some nice ships popping in here. It also means there's a possibility that we could find an exotic here as well. So we'll have to keep an eye open for that. And if we can ever get enough uh, credits, we got 10 million units right now. If we ever get enough of them, we can go ahead and um, possibly afford one of those. All right, let's see. Back to our place. We have Pyrite to recharge, good. It's nice having your base so close to the space station. That is something I do recommend. It makes things so much easier. We could have taken the uh, portal back and not wasted any fuel, but frankly, I just simply wasn't thinking of it. Sue me to me. Uh, sorry, obscure reference to a movie that probably none of you have ever heard of. All right. Take that moment to hydrate. Oh, we want to go to the base computer. There we go. Uh, select new task. Begin decryption. Decoding. Message follows. Traveler finds their wings. Fly to us and claim your place among the stars. Okay, signal acquired. Life signs detected. So we need to go to some place on the planet. Where are we going? That way. 
never usually far away. A ship. Yeah, we're just going to go ahead and fly straight rather than trying to jump over. Fascinating. That is a town, a settlement. Fascinating. It'd be great if we could grab a settlement here, man. We'll have to think about that and remember that that's over here. Approximate location. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Um, we're going to search, but I'm going to go ahead and land here. I may drop... Do, do I have save beacons yet? I don't know. Let me check. Uh, no, of course not. Crap. But we're going to check this out real quick. That way we can get navigation data out of this too. We could always use that. Um, where is the terminal? It must be on the other side. There it is. Let's see what kind of multi-tool they got here. Uh, weapons technology. Oh my gosh, an S-Class. Holy crap. And if I'm not mistaken, you can get it for free. Uh... I mean, it's it's got to be repaired. It looks like we got mining lasers on it. No weapons. That's fine, but it's an S class, so I mean, that's a much better tool than what I've got. And if we can repair it, it'll have more room. Uh, yeah, we're gonna take that. So let me just check it out real quick. What's it gonna take to repair this? Because I need wiring looms, and that's gonna be expensive. Microprocessor, medic seals. We can get most of that from the space station. I think I can make hermetic seals now. Microprocessors. That's going to be expensive. A nice cobalt. That shouldn't take much. Can't usually... Well, we could probably buy it. we got enough money. And we can get this thing repaired. It looks like it's already got a supercharged slot right there. Already got that. Wow. This ain't bad. There we go. We'll get the most out of our mining beam. It's not terrific, but again, it's an S-Class, man. I'm not going to complain. Uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and... I'm not going to shut down the Sentinel forces. I don't really need anything from them right now. So, uh, what is my... Do I know my coordinates? Sorry. I am literally going to write this down. Uh, yeah. And of course, of all times, not to have a pad in front of me like I almost always do all the time. Yeah, all my pads are buried. Go figure. Yeah, you. Okay. And of course, I have a cup full of writing implements. What do we got? Because I want to remember this place. Okay, so there's our location at the top right. So this is, we're going to go plus 10. 0.67 and negative 14.18. It's not too bad. Selenium, copper, phosphorus, cobalt. Okay, good. Oh, they got cobalt mines here. That's really handy. Okay, forgot about that. All right. And looks like our life support could probably use a charge. That's what we got our dock site for. Okay, where'd my ship go? There it is. Excellent, excellent, excellent. That was actually a, a good pit stop. Uh, looks like where we're heading is that way too, so let's go ahead and keep going. I keep thinking that I have uh, unlimited uh, resources in regards to my jetpack. All right. We'll leave the ship here. We'll recharge it. Let's recharge its landing. Yep. I have nothing to recharge it with. Fascinating. Okay, so we will Tom and Jerry it back here. Uh, where to that way? Ah! 
Freighter, of course. You know what? Let's take off because with the freighter, it's got a landing pad. And our launch thrusters are dead. And if we harvest stuff from the freighter, we might end up with some launch fuel. Alrighty. Okay, let's go ahead and do the story real fast, and then we'll go ahead and harvest everything from this place. Log damage, partial records available. Uh, something to the wreck of a freighter. Colossal fragments of metal scattered across the landscape. Were these messages nothing but the misfiring circuits of a long-forgotten ruin? Nestled among the debris, I find the pilot's log blinking, awaiting input. What's the log? Instead of displaying the ship's log, the terminal spits out a strange sequence of numbers. They are followed by a short message. The anomaly comes for the stars. Take flight. The schematic for hyperdrive is attached to the end of the message. Take the blueprint. I pull the blueprint on the computer, but this hyperdrive blueprint is for a conventional starship, not a freighter of this size. Someone placed this here after the crash, hoping it would be found. So we just need four more microprocessors. Again, we can get them from the space station. And since we're trying to repair our multi-tool, we're going to need a lot more microprocessors. So we'll go ahead and head up there here in just a minute. So while we're here, let's see what we can find. We're going to start over here. There we go. Delete and delete. Antimatter. Fascinating. So this is going to hit us pretty quickly, so we just want to exit the room as soon as it happens. There we go. I just got nanites out of that one. Uh, you know what? I wonder... Give it a shot, shall we? We can. We don't have to dig at all. Just got nanites out of that. Cheap skates. There you are. Gotta select it for some reason so I can get it. Got a warp cell out of that, so that's good. Now all we need is some launch fuel. Wink. One right here. We got two. We got two more. This one and the other one on the other side. Gotta love it, right? Aren't you digging? You don't have to. Oh, antimatter housing. So that gives us a second one. So now we have two. Warp cells, not just one. This one should be right there. That is just buried cache over on this side. Or cache. There we go. There we go. I didn't even notice. What did we get? Nanites out of that? It's too busy doing something stupid. Okay, let's see. It wants to put it there. I usually put it over here, but we're too far away. Okay, let's just... There we go. We're going to put it right here. That way it's partially installed and it can stop flashing at me because it's annoying me. Uh, so we did not get any launch fuel, correct? Yes, correct. We can make one more of these. So we have two of those. We're going to put them in our starship. And we don't want to put it in our hyperdrive yet. That is not necessary to do that yet. Okay, good deal. Um, okay, I think we're ready. Let's go up to the space station, shall we? 
and we're going to get a whole lot of microprocessors. Hopefully we have enough cash to do this with. Oop, hello. There we go. Then we'll be able to go to our first system outside of this home system that we uh, made a pre-base on. Okay. Two terminals in space stations. You get the one over here. Why'd that one raise up? That's weird. There's nothing for me in. Here's the first terminal, and you can get most of your basic components here, but the second terminal sometimes has a couple oddball ends in there that you can acquire. So, what do we got? There's our microprocessors. I see we need five for this, four more for this. Uh, I know we need six more at least. So, ten. Yeah, it's going to be expensive. Wiring looms, we need a bunch of those. Uh, let me get... Wow, okay. Half a mil. One more. Okay. Let's hold off on the rest for now. Let's go ahead and do some repairs. Let's start with the starship so we can get that taken care of. And we're going to go to the multi-tool. We have a wiring loom now. Let's go ahead and repair this because it's our supercharged spot. Another wiring loom. Uh, we need a hermetic seal. We need sodium. We're low on sodium. Go figure. Which we can only get from planets at this point. I need eight hermetic seals. I wonder if I can buy them. Ammonia and uranium. We definitely need those. Ionized cobalt we can make. Okay, that's it. And I don't think they had that in here, right? Ammonia they have. Uh... doesn't cost much. But you know what? Let's just group buy all of it. And you know, we should probably grab the paraffinium too, because honestly, I mean, we have the money to do it. We might as well get it. Because even though we don't need it right now, it comes in handy for upgrades and stuff like that. It takes up a lot of spot on our, on our inventory, though, because it takes up more than one spot. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. Uh, the ammonia, let me go ahead and start using it in here so we can get it, drop it down a little bit. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put the microprocessors in because we need to figure out how many we're going to need. Uh, we already did that one, right? This one. Okay. And that's just ionized cobalt. What do we have in our inventory? Okay, so we have 500 of this right now. Let me put it in my starship. Goes in the starship. We're gonna keep that. We got 275 left of phosphorus, which has been handy. I got two more microprocessors. I'm gonna put that over in the starship too. That goes in the starship. Anything you really I mean you don't have to carry these things on you. The sodium we do, but we definitely need that. But those things you don't have to carry on you, and it's no use in doing so. Uh let me see here. Okay. Let's just move this stuff around. Magnetized ferrite, the gold. Put these down here. Put this down here. Oh, there's not a spot there. So I what was going on. Okay. Dihydrogen. Okay, so items we're putting over here. Got chromatic metal. We could always use more of that. So, like I said, there's things you can get in each terminal. So let's go check the other terminal real quick and just see what they got. Always check with these guys, because they have stuff in their inventory that you can't get elsewhere. Magna Gold, we can turn it into, into gold. So let me see here. Pyrite, Magnetized Ferrite. Alright, I'm going to hold off. I don't have a ton of units. I'll go ahead and check this guy real quick. Looks like I've got a... Oh my. Oh my. Who are you? B-Class. Not bad. How much is it running? About six million. That's not bad. Love to get a solar. I would love to get a solar, but I'll have to check it out. I don't know. We're going to hold off on that for now. Uh, 
Great, right. Okay, platinum and more phosphorus. I'm going to get about 200 more phosphorus just because... Wow, that was pretty good. Huh? Dioxide, we've got plenty on platinum we don't really need right now. Okay. And let's check. He's already gone? Seriously? That's another solar? An A-class for 11. Too bad I don't have the money for that one, huh? Is it the same ship? Yes, it is. Wow, okay, so now we know that they have nice solars here. Uh, offer to trade, see if he probably has the same items, I'm going to guess. Yes, he does. Okay. Anybody else? No? Alright, check out the other trade terminal. Boink, boink. Uh, trade terminal should be right here. Okay, good. Aronium. So, see, they carry aronium. What else? What else? What else? Stable plaza. Hermetic seal. See? We need a bunch of those, right? So, I'm going to get... Let's get ten of them. I think we only need eight. It's ferrite. Rusted metal. Okay. So, now we can repair some more over here. See? We do need sodium still. So, we got to get a bunch of sodium. Microprocessors and the Hermetic Seal. And that should be it. Okay. How much do we have left in our inventory? So we'll put this over in the ship again. Keep that on me. Sometimes you get kind of fortunate. See, I used up all the uh, microprocessors. See that? So that's good. So no waste. Okay, good. So we're in good shape. Uh, hey, encrypted data. If anything, we'll get some nanites out of it. And we'll get a navigation data from it. Good. All right. All right, nothing more to do here. Let's move on. Uh, and I think we got the upgrade from here. Did we already get our exosuit upgrade? Yes, we did. Do they have any jetpack upgrades? I've got plenty of nanites right now. I might as well take a peek. Let's see. Shield underwater thermal. Movement is a B class. I'm not really interested in that. Life support A. I'll hold off on it. Um, ship upgrades. We could use something. And we do need some launch fuel. We ought to pick some up while we're here. Let's see. Hyperdrive A class. Pulse engine S class. That's pretty good. Let's go ahead and get it, because like I said, we could transfer it to our new ship when we get one. And this is an A-class hyperdrive module, but it could come in handy. To me, it's worth it. I'm going to go ahead and get it. Put you right there. You're fully repaired now, right? Okay. Alright, and pulse drive. Make you a little more economical. Okay, and again, I forgot to get launch fuel. Let me just see if they have any. I didn't notice. I wasn't paying attention. You probably saw it, and I didn't. Uh, let's see. No, no launch fuel. And for launch fuel, we use uranium. So we might be able to get it from a another ship in passing, which there's nobody here at the moment. Let me just check out the trade terminal on the other side real fast. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, most of it spent wandering around space stations. Shopping. Uh, let's see. No launch fuel here, huh? Yeah, that's a shame. Okay. So, uranium or launch fuel is the two things we need. One of the two things. I'd really prefer the uranium. And we literally have nobody landing right now for some reason. That happens every now and then. So let's do a quick save like this, just so I have it. Cool. Um, don't look at the screen, because I'm about to puke, I think. Yeah, I know. Okay. I have no idea what the hell's going on. I think we're locked up, guys. Brilliant. 
Absolutely brilliant. I can't even escape out of this. Wow, I can't even get to the menu. Wait a minute. Oh, the scanner works. Uh, let me try something. Nope, that didn't work either. Can we get to any menus? No menus are working. Love it. Yeah, thank you. I'm glad to know my scanner's recharging. Wow, okay. This was an awesome glitch. Um, I will pull this from the video and send it to uh, no, uh, Hello Games as a glitch. So I'm going to pause right here for just a moment, and we'll be right back. And we're back again, and it looks like everything's returned to some semblance of normality. Now because I reloaded, obviously ships are going to start landing again, so I'm going to take this opportunity to take a look at these traders. Uh, not those kind of traders. And uh, just see if he happens to have anything I can use, like none of those things, like uranium. Uh, Try talking to him. Different types of ships will have different types of things. Ooh, he's got copper. I may have to steal that and pugnium. I could use both. How much is that? 120? I'll take it. Copper? 35? Yep, I'll take it. Okay. Alright, who else? There's a little guy over there and a big guy over here. Let's take the big guy real quick first. Uh, what do we got? Magnet carbon nanotubes, pyrite. Yeah, you got nothing I need. Let's go over here. Let's see, this guy's a uranium smuggler. I'm gonna take something from him. Pardon me, sir. Do you have any uranium? You have tritium. Interesting. I will go ahead and grab that. I don't have a lot of tritium. Well, you know what? It's used in other things. Let's drop this down a little ways. Drop it down to about 400 or so. There. And we're going to put that in my ship. This will go in the ship. This will go in the ship. This, we don't have a processor yet. But we're going to hang on to it because we can use this to make more chromatic metal, of course. Alright. And then everybody left. They all left me. So what do you think? We should just go to the next system, I think, at this point, and try to... Ah, it's going to do this again, huh? Yep, we know. We know. Okay, so we got to get some antimatter. We're not going anywhere just yet. So let's go ahead and scan for antimatter. Ow. Crazy... Florida drivers? Anyway. Alright. Yeah, you heard me say it. I had no directional. I swear, no directional was on. Thank God I had a camera on this and I'm recording it and I'm taking that guy to court. Oh, for crying out loud. Seriously? I can't even find it on the planet my base is on? Oh, let's go to fungal mode planet. Yay. Copper, ammonia, silver. Okay, nothing really I can use much there. I had to check the other planets in the system. Let me just see if I've... Have I gone to all of them yet? No. So we have two unknown planets I can check out, and I can see if they have some uh, uranium, because if I land anywhere, I'm done. I don't think I can make launch fuel just yet. Well, we need a metal plate. I can do that. Don't want to be there while you're doing that. Well, I'll make one. Okay. Proximate location. Now, as with the proximate locations, what is usually a good idea is you're looking for probably an abandoned structure. And it looks like we got two possible such things straight ahead. Alright, let's check them out. Yep, that's what it is. That's considered an unknown building? How oh, weird. Now, this is a chance to get some Whispering Eggs and make a little bit of cash, too. I think we can only carry three to a spot, if I remember correctly. Then again, I don't think we hindered our inventory too, too much. It's not down to 250, so maybe we can carry six. 
I'm going to keep checking everything while I'm here. Because we all know that I need uh, sodium, so I'm going to collect that too. While I'm here, yeah, there's a little bit of sodium up there. Big sodium patch would be great, but I don't see any. Alright, let's head over there get some sodium too while we're here. And we're going to be going inside the building in just a minute, so we don't have to worry about our uh, toxic protection too, too much. You know, what we could do is we could check out all the animals here, though. We could use a little bit of extra nanites, because we're going to need it. Um, hello, did we already check out animals here? And all of them to boot. Okay. Yes, boots as well. All right, let's head inside for just a minute. Did we? No, we haven't been to this one yet. Okay. Is there anything hanging from the ceiling? Yeah, I'll grab it. I don't know if we're at maximum or not. We are. Okay, good. More sodium. That's nice. Excellent. Because, as you know, we need sodium. We need a lot of sodium. And sodium nitrate. Projectile ammunition, which we don't really need just now, but that's okay. Ah. You know, why don't I turn on my light so I can see what I'm doing? I know it's supposed to auto-turn on, but I have mine set to turn on manually, because sometimes I don't want it on. It's just that simple. I don't want it to turn on when I go into a dark room, because sometimes there's something bright in there I'm looking for, and it shines on it, and I can't see it. Yeah, yeah, it's a long story. Okay, abandoned terminal. This should give me the plans for antimatter. Decrypting. Success. Terminal clog with the nerve reposting slime. Nevertheless, it appears to function. Touch the input panel. The antimatter substance reacts violently. I make a note to avoid getting closer. Uh, revealing a single unblinking crimson eye. We're being watched. It prints out a blueprint for antimatter, accompanied by a strange message. Take the blueprint. You will find us when the time is right. A whole bunch of 16s. And we have antimatter now. Okay, good deal. So now we can create our own. We're supposed to create our own fuel. So, but let's have a little fun with whispering eggs, shall we? Hi guys, excuse me, I'm going to just move over here while you guys are talking amongst yourselves. Don't mind me. I just need to make an omelette, okay? Don't worry, you can make more eggs. Hi, excuse me, I'm going to go over here. Good luck. Okay. Excuse me. Got it. Move over here. Hey, can't shoot me from in there, buddy. Nothing. Ah, got chipped on that one. Missed the other one. Okay. Excuse me. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. You're going to investigate me collecting eggs? I'm going to go to the other side. Almost lost track. Oh, missed that one. Okay. Yeah, I know. Okay, so we got to watch out for our... Yeah, he's there. Okay. Wow, we're going to get a lot of money out of this. There's a lot of eggs. I had no idea. We may actually have to take a break. Uh, there's one over here. Oh, got a dud. Whoops. Whoa. Hey, okay. Sorry. I'm moving on. That one's empty, finally. Ooh, someone shot me. Or hit me. One or the other. Alright, we've got a couple left there. 
Gotta watch our toxic protection. We can go one more round around the building before we start taking damage. That one's empty. Sorry, pardon me. Okay. Now we gotta head to the inside of the building fast. Because we are in bad shape. In. Ah! Almost made it. That's okay, we'll let our shield recharge. How many did we get? Oh, we can hold 10 to a spot. Well, isn't that good? And these are worth 700 each. Not bad, 714. <sighs> we'll get about 2 million when we're all done out there. Uh, which will get me right back where I was. Almost 11 million, so that's nice. I've only got two ferrite dust? How did that happen? Okay, we'll have to work on that. Too far away from the ship. Okay. And we're recharging. Probably should have saved that life support gel. Alright, let's take a run around. See if we missed any. We're going to start up the swarm again, but it really doesn't make a difference. It's okay. Uh, I think we got all of these. Okay, good. Uh, all of these, good. Might be one more over here. Yeah, there is. And it was a dud. Go figure. Over here. One. That's it. I think that's all of them. Yes, it is. Hey, guys. Pardon me. Alright, so that should get us 26 of them. So, yeah, about 2 million. Uh, not bad. Not bad for a day's work. Yes. Alright, so they're going to keep shooting at me. I'm going to go ahead and exit. Where's my ship at? It is over there. Go ahead and exit. Head to the ship. And we're done. Excellent. Why music? Okay, so it's actually recognizing the fact that I've got hyperdrive fuel. So we didn't have to create any. Alright, so I'm going to hold off on that then. And I really do want to check out the other two planets real quick. So let me just get out into space here. Yeah, 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 I know. Um, Got to go back to first, uh, yeah, first person. Where's my planets? So there's two there. What are you? You have... Aggressive Sentinels. Well, that's handy. Okay, Paraphernium Cobalt, usual stuff. And you have... It's a cold planet. Frost Crystals, Dioxite, Ancient Bones, which are very uh, expensive. That's good to know. That's the only four planets in the system. I don't have any Uranium. So it would be a good idea for me to warp to another system. So let's go ahead and do that. And we're slowly coming to the end of our exploits here. I want to find something very close by. Yep, see? Three-star system there. That's pretty good. Uh, can't go there. Can't go there. We can go there. Oh, where's my system? Here we go. So that place we can go to. It's pretty close by. What's the other ones? Gek. Vikeen. Okay, we've got some good systems nearby. Let's go to the... Corvax. Ooh, lots of planets here. Yeah, let's go here. We are in our system. Okay, good deal. Waiting for the message. There we go. Uh, error. Guidance system malfunction. Searching for the root. Searching, searching. Lots of 16s are going to come in here. There they are. New guidance. Of course we are. Plotting a root. Okay, so it's going to show us some place to go. But while we're here, let's see what we got. 
a flourishing planet. Now that's almost like a paradise planet. Okay, it probably could be, but it may be subject to storms. It's got salvageable scrap, which is an odd thing to find on a paradise planet. So just keep that in mind. The space station should be close by, which we are going to land at at some point. Uh, let me check out the planets, like I said, in the system. Nice purple planet here. Uh, grassy, but aggressive sentinels. Okay, again, we're not finding any uranium yet, which is something we desperately need uh, over here. Fuel source, it says. It didn't take. Try it again. Uranium. Okay, so the planet we're going to has uranium on it. That's what we're going to need. And this planet? Erupting. So, oh, it's got basalt. We do need some basalt. Okay, we're going to head over there at some point. What do we got over here? Copper rusted metal and sodium. We need a lot of sodium, too. Okay. To fix what we've got. And there was one more planet. Oh, there it is. More basalt. A volcanic planet, too. Excellent. Okay, we're in good shape. This is a nice system. Okay, I don't mind this at all. Now this is uh, the Aggressive Sentinels planet we're heading to. What kind of planet was it again? Uh, irradiated, that's all. So, you know, Yamarud, of course. Alright, let's head there. We'll head to the space station in a little bit. Because we do want to see what kind of uh, economy this system has. Now this will probably be... I'm trying to remember if it was a crashed freighter or... No, 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 no. It's. I think it's underwater. It's an abandoned structure. I thought it was underwater. Again, that's approximate location, but we're near water. Let's see what happens here. And it looks like we might have a uranium deposit nearby. scan surroundings nope I'm not finding a thing land we do okay oh it's right there that's where we're headed okay don't forget to discover the animals while we're here is that This is... Come on. You gonna show me? Why am I not seeing it? I don't know why. Because that's why. Let's grab it up. This will be fuel for our... Launch thrusters. You know what I'm gonna do? Instead of doing this small... I'm going to go one up in this and see if I can't acquire a little bit extra. Finish this thing out faster. Medium seems to be a good way to gather up these resources most times. If you're really interested in just trying to squeeze as much out of it as possible, go to the smaller one, but large is just not necessary. I do find that in the large mode for this, it works better for uh, the silicon if you're trying to get re rechargeability for your uh, terrain manipulator. Recharge components. The silicate powder works better if you gather it in the large quantity. You gather up a whole lot more. Yeah, see, we've already got too much radiation. This place is terrible. So, hence the reason I want medium on this. I wanted to finish it up quickly. I get back in the ship and recharge for a second here. Alright. I think we're doing pretty good. Alright, yeah. Looks like we got everything. Where's our ship? There we go. And we're going to put the uranium in our ship. Now, once we have shield uh, radiation protection for ourselves, for our person, then we can use that uh, in our on our person as well. Okay, not bad. Almost 500. That's pretty good.
Uh, we're going to go ahead and put this in the ship as well because we need to sell it at the space station. We don't need that yet. Uh, that we're just going to go ahead and drop in the multi-tool just to get it out of the way. Although we already have a whole bunch. Let's go ahead and charge it up all the way. How's this doing? Okay. Might as well take care of everybody while we're here. We definitely need some more of that. We'll use our ship to gather up some resources here in a little bit. Uh, oh, looks like we already got a bunch. Put it in our exosuit so we have it. Alright, good. And there's uranium, and there we go. Nice charging ability, right? Good deal. All right, we do need more of that. Like I said, we're going to get a uh, our own refiner that we're going to be able to do some work with on that. Okay, we've got plenty of cargo space now. And we're recharged. Let's discover this last option, and we're 197 away. It should be in this general direction. I not recall seeing anything. What is... Oh, salvage container. Really? It's right there. But we're going to get the salvage container instead. Because why? It's worth a lot. I should have used I should have used the life support gel. Okay, where is this? There it is. Okay. Now this will likely call in some rogue sentinels. So we need to protect ourselves. Let's go back here. There we go. We'll pull back. See? There we go. Okay, we got a humming inlet, which is worth 173,000. So, hoping for something a little bit more valuable, but it is what it is. Okay. Okay, so we need to head out of here. I could love to take these guys out, but they're defective dudes. Oh, hello. We should be able to take them out with this. But he's going to hurt me, so... Takes a while, but he'll be shooting at me here soon. We'll get Pugnium, but we should get some glass. Ow. Jerk. Get back here. What? Tell me there's three of them. Got him. Yeah, there's a third one. Hi. Um, he just went down underground somehow. Where did he go? I want to take him out. Because you have something I need, sir. Alright, that should be the last one. Good deal. And that's just a regular sentinel. Let's see what we got out of this guy. We don't need this. Uh, quantum computers, and we got an upgrade for our life support. Which gives us... Eh, extra sprint distance solar panel. Okay, that's fine. It's not great. So while we're here, we're in a new system. We're with the Corvax, so... We're going to learn some Corvax words. All right, accept the knowledge. Okay, so we run the Corvax. Let's grab the other two real quick. 
and this one. Okay, good. Gotta hurry, because our radiation is dropping. There we go. Let's see what we got. Uh, as I stare at words from form themselves in my mind, a strange fragment of broken speech. Is it traveler? Is it friend? I always say it is a traveler. Is it feels strange responding to questions, but something has clearly taken notice of my reply. I'm overwhelmed by a sense that something has awoken, that someone is watching me. It forms another question. Is it first? Is it last? I think it's last. I'm definitely not first. I do not know how I am being spoken to. This monolith is ancient, and I cannot escape the feeling it has asked these questions many times over. It asks again, have they seen the crimson eye as the crimson eye seen them? Both. Likelihood of anomaly exceeds safety parameters. Breach detected. Alert. Alert. The boundaries fall. The walls collapse. Your universe awaits. Find us, traveler. Okay. Good deal. And I get a warp cell out of it, as you can see. So, let's head back to our ship. Which is there. Actually, head this way. There we go. Definitely want to. I want to try to discover these creatures because. Well, you know why. The only time you can see them is when they're above the ground, like that. Alright, anybody else around? Flying animals? No? Because I could really use the nanites, man. How many we got? Nine. Uh, three underwater, two flying, and the rest on the ground. So we don't have any in caves. That should make things a little bit easier. Where'd my ship go? There we go. We're about to go too low. Got him. That's two. And there's some water nearby. We could go a little deep diving here in a little bit. Let's get in the ship and recharge. Uh, let's see here. First things first. I'm going to put this over in the ship. Put that in the ship. Put that in the ship. Put that in the ship. How about we put that in the ship? There we go. Put this in our... Okay, good. This is stuff. This is stuff we're selling. Okay, good. Yeah, we didn't have that much. All right, good. All right. How are we doing? I think we're doing pretty good. We're just about the end of our hour. So let's check our log. Where are we going here? Use the galaxy map to search for clues. Boundaries fall. The walls collapse. Universe awaits. Find us, traveler. We want to look at the galaxy map to get there. Okay, so what I'm going to do, we're going to do that in the next episode. Let's head up to the space station. Because I want to remember this system. Uh, not a lot of water there, actually, now that I look at it. There it is. Because, like I said, I wanted to gather some some basalt, or basalt as, it, as it's called, I don't know. Um, because the basalt will be handy in building certain weapons. Uh, there's a generalized up upgrade to your multi-tool that you can throw in there for your weapons, and it uh, tends to require basalt. So finding it is a pain in the neck. So you can find deposits on a planet, that's even better. Used to be it used to be a secondary element on some items, but yeah, that didn't happen. Oh my gosh. There we go. And we're in. Okay, good deal. So we're going to sell some stuff real fast. You'll see how much money we make at it real quick before we go. Let's see what's in the trade terminals, because we may be coming back to the system. Um, I don't know if it's a three-star system or not. Let me just check. Nano construction satisfactory. So it's a two-star system that we have here.
Okay. And let's sell from our ship. Not selling that. Not selling that. Larval cores are giving us, oh, just under 0%. So that's not bad. 1.8 million. See? Almost 11. That's not bad. 10 and 3 quarters. Uh, what else we got? We got Pugnium, which is also worth quite a bit. Humming Inlet. Uh, they're going to give us a little over, over market value. That's great. All right. Good deal. So again, we're just shy of 11. Let's see. I'll hang on to the quantum computers. I just have a feeling. What do they have for sale? They got gold. They got phosphorus, copper. More copper I can get. Because you can't buy, in permadeath mode, you cannot buy chromatic metal. So I'm going to purchase up the copper. I don't need any of those just yet. Let's check out the other trade terminal and see what some of these shipmates have down here. Because I'm sure one or two have landed. Nobody's landed. Okay, kind of quiet here today. There we go. Obviously, gather that while you can. It sounds like there's a ship coming in. I'll worry about him later. Let's get to the trade terminal here. Uh, solar mirror. Good. Dirty bronze. Uh, usual stuff. Phosphorus, gold, and pyrite. Okay, good. So they don't have uranium here, so I'm glad I picked it up on the, uh, on the place there. On that one planet. Okay, good deal. Ships are landing. They just landed. I'm going to go check this guy out real quick and just see what he's got. And we're about to call this an episode. What do you got? Uh, let's see. Pure ferrite. Magnetized ferrite. Phosphorus. Okay, you're all right. Again, this is not a rich system. It is a two-star system, so... They may not have a whole lot of components here. But it's nice to know what they do have on occasion. Aeronium, that's good. Silver and platinum, okay. Nothing I really need. And the other guy took off. Okay, so let's call it. So we're going to end the episode here, folks. We'll do this later. There we go. Restore points saved. Uh, we're almost at the anomaly. We're just about at the point. We're going to go to the next galaxy. Uh, I'm going to get some base salt. I may... Yeah, we'll probably do that in the next episode. I'll show landing at one of those planets, gathering up the basalt, and then heading out to the next uh, system. And when we hit that next system, that's when we should discover the anomaly and be able to change appearances and things like that. We'll take up that when we get there. Because uh, in the anomaly, I'm going to gather up all kinds of stuff out of the Quicksilver store. <laughs> so, anyway. All right, we're in good shape. Folks, I appreciate you watching. Don't forget to hit that like button. I really appreciate it. Um, leave comments. Always leave comments. If anything's wrong with this episode, anything with regards to the audio, or the video, anything like that, let me know. Uh, I always respond to any questions that people have, and you guys have always given me great ideas. So I always appreciate that. And please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Uh, I try to do this on a weekly basis, and I try to put at least one or two episodes a week. Uh, on the weekends, it tends to get crazy, but if I'm able to do some videos on the weekends, you'll suddenly see a whole plethora of them come out, you know, like two or three, four videos all in one weekend. Uh, so just keep an eye open. Uh, I do work a secular job, so I do try to answer those comments as they come in, but if I'm in the middle of a corporate meeting or something like that, that ain't happening. So, but anyway, I digress. I am off track. We will come back to you guys in the next episode. Again, thank you for watching. Never criticize kindness. Always be truthful in all things, folks. Take care.